have sunk an enemy destroyer. Hey team, it's Ripper here. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. Today we got another video, fun replay with the Druid plus Wisconsin, a devastating combo, and you guys gotta check this out. And man, it is so broken and OP. It's not even funny, but like before we begin, like, subscribe, all button below. Appreciate all the support of the channel on our way to the next 4,000 subs. We're gonna do another premium DD giveaway. Can't thank you guys enough for making the community great and building the channel and learning something from it. Speaking of learning something from it, I'll explain to you why um, I'm actually maneuvering since I started as a destroyer player in the middle of this map. Uh, normally, most conventional wisdoms go to Bravo, but we're going to go actually push to the eastern flank and avoid Bravo right there because our goal is to support our destroyer out in the distance. Also, we have Wisconsin and Zao at Charlie, hoping hopefully we push straight down south to meet up right here in the center and contest that area so that the... The team will actually push down south, and, and I'll explain to the reason why I like this strategy, because I know that if I go to Bravo, I'm just going to sit there and get potentially get radared or maybe even just stalled out, because I know another destroyer player is going to go in there. They'll probably have support, and just judging by the way my team is maneuvering, I'm noticing my buff Buffalo is actually finally supporting me, but look at the battleships and the Buffalo in the background and the, to the north. They are not pushing south in the middle. They're going to go to Alpha. So literally, if I went to Bravo, I'd be by myself, no support. I would be radared and potentially just stalling out and not being part of the fight because they have another destroyer player in there capping as well. So it's kind of a stalled moot point where I'm actually going to take the fight to the enemy. enemy and I'm going to try to eliminate and support my teammates and get as many destroyers off the map as possible, get as many battleships off the map as possible. And you're going to see what's going to happen when, when their enemy team starts losing players and their destroyers. It's going to really change the dynamic of the battlefield. So let's take a look at this, how it actually plays out. I've already noted that I'm going to support my El Contonis. He's got a radar, and he spots a, another enemy destroyer player right there. And again, I'm supporting my destroyer player to kill other DDs. So as soon as he gets spotted, boom, we open up. We start plumbing a ton of AP shells into the the side that is the druid's specialty right there unfortunately my aim is really really bad el contonis's radar is not very long we get nine penetration there producing five thousand damage and then we just lose sight of him quickly right there again nobody's spotting for him so that's a good thing that means we go undetected oh i'm sorry i pop smoke for that reason i forgot Hi, Pop Smoke. Go undetected so nobody's firing at me for free. We're going to actually make them work for it. El Contonis takes a hit right there. So we're going to go ahead and continue supporting our El Contonis and make sure. I was double checking uh, what is the range. Does he have hydro? So make sure that, hey, I'm not got caught by a rush, uh, German hydro. We're going to sit here and wait and see what de develops here. We do not want to pick a fight with a Napoli, but we do have a Wisconsin on our eastern flank. So I felt a little bit more confident now that I have a Wisconsin backing me up. So as always, knowing your situation awareness, know the battlefield, where your players are at, and communicate. That is the key component of everything and, and coordinated maneuvers. We're going to see if we can pummel as much firepower as we can into the Z46 right here, and hopefully we get this kill and take him off the field, and boom, way to go, Zao, taking out the Z46. Now we're hide behind El Contonis' smokescreen, and we're going to hold and wait here. Napoli just popped his, cro um, I think it's called exhaust generating smoke, so it follows him where he goes. So we won't be able to spot him. We have no radar in the area because El Contonis just used it. We're going to wait. So we're going to be patient here. See what the Napoli is going to do because he's going to have to go head to head with a Wisconsin. So if a Wisconsin wasn't there, I would not be choosing this battle right here. I would actually retreat and egress and kind of reassess and reevaluate. But right now, we're going to see if we can hold and see if a situation develops because we do have an Ohio retreating. Therefore, the Napoli does not have backup. So it is literally four versus one right here at this point. So we're going to hold and wait. And once he comes out of that smoke, because I know it will only last a certain amount of time. And here we go. Full broadside, Napoli. Beautiful picture for us to see right here. And we are going to put as much AP shell damage into him as we can. And Druid is phenomenal at doing this, taking out as much firepower as or damage as possible with a lot of AP firepower. And ooh, Wisconsin hitting that F button funny key and it's just plummeting his health point to the next ground floor. We've got torpedoes in the background. We got to get out of dodge right here. Good thing that Napoli is uh, almost low health and almost dead. And we take the kill and with the help of Wisconsin right there. And just in the luck of time, nick of time, we get out of the torpedo range with our hydro up. That's a good thing. Oh, man, I thought we were going to take that kill right there. Black is now taken out of the game. 
that was good because he did have a seven and a half kilometer radar that we, we did not like with smoke so not a good thing right there we do lose our El Cantonis, and now we're going to go ahead and shoot at the ohio here and let's see if we can yeah we are in his secondary range so we're not going to make uh too much of a problem here but we're going to hold off on the smoke until we absolutely necessarily need it so uh, drew it is phenomenal at going nose in and just taking the fight to the enemy that's why i like it so much it really is a game changer sometimes and just can cause a ruckus to an enemy flank especially when you have a wisconsin backing you up right there he is trying to put as many fires oh and look at that shot right there nice broadside shot from the wisconsin nice ap damage right there he's probably firing his F, uh, F key right there and not after we are taking at must 780 780 800 hey, all this n chip damage right off the Ohio he is not having a good day and he goes down so uh, another uh, thing that I like about the druid is a quick acceleration you know, like you saw earlier getting out of those torpedoes coming at you hydro up alerting you to any kind of uh, torpedo uh, incoming or damage whatever you may call it and of course it's got the quick smokes right there as well and you can see right there we popped the smoke to go off detection because we did earlier we didn't want to have a napoli shooting at us with the secondaries and we don't want to have the ohio take an unnecessary damage off of our secondaries uh, or on the secondaries on us as well so we go undetected as much as we can try to make the smoke last as much as possible and then we start plowing ap shell Ooh, i'm taking a hit from something what the heck is shooting at me and we take that kill we get the extra oh my goodness full health georgia right here and let's see what we can do to this thing we're going to aim at the nose and see if we can take as much damage as possible and I want you guys to take a look in a minute that there's probably a gimmick or a, um, a glitch in the game because you're notice a lot of my shells are firing into the bow of the Georgia, but they go through. But we're shooting at the bow to get as maximum much as damage we can, getting full pins right there. And I think in a minute you're going to see this weird uh, glitch in the game. Um, right. Oh, come on, we're still taking some nice damage. Ooh, nice shot from Wisconsin. We're trying to shoot, and we get some nice... Right there, it goes above, above. We're getting some damage. It goes below. We're not getting enough damage there. Shooting a little higher. Okay, right here, I think. I shoot up high, and it just goes straight through that bow right there. You know, you could, you you saw it, right, ladies and gentlemen? It went through his bow. I thought I hit it. It looks almost like he activated some kind of ghost shell, whatever I digress. Let's see if we can take out the Georgia final kill. Ooh, and nice shot on the Wisconsin. Yeah, uh, definitely going to have to let Wargaming know about that one. Wargaming, there is a glitch sometimes shooting at the bow of uh, battleships. It, the battleship some, has some kind of cloaking device or some kind of shield that makes shells go straight through. Uh, kind of like that quantum theory mechanics uh, just cause uh, atoms to just manipulate and match the shell uh, velocity and angle, causing them not to work. But anyways, I digress. We're shooting at the Seattle right here, and oh, boom, Wisconsin taking too much AP to the side, and that is not a fun day at all. Boom, 120,000 damage in the first first eight minutes what a blowout game guys this is just like literally one of nine games that i've seen that are just blowouts back-to-back -back blowouts i don't know i don't know what it is matchmaking or the way the meta is or whatever uh maybe it was all wisconsin who knows <laughs> but uh, i think man I, I have been in so many games that are just blowout matches now i've also been on the receiving end of blowout matches like i'm like, literally the last guy uh, and like all 10 of my players are dead and there's only one or two of me left and it's pretty horrendous but i i don't know what causes this maybe it's just the way world warships works where it's just ganging up and focus firing and it just causes too much uh you know, too much sequential damage is going rapidly and enough players can't defend against it. It's just too quick. But uh, that's the way that the game goes when you don't have respawning ability, which I've always advocated. You need to bring respawning ability because the game, the, the nature of this game is killing people way too fast. Uh, just like Call of Duty style. And you, that's why you have respawn. Imagine if, again, you're, you're not playing Battle Royale and, and Call of Duty. Uh, if you did that, the game's would be so very quick and boring and lose interest very quickly. I think if you want to keep the player base engaged, yeah, have the ships die quickly, but have them respawn and just play objectives, okay? That that should be the fun part or aspect about it. But that's my thought on that. Hope you enjoyed the video on my... Um uh, my talk, my strategy, uh, things about the Druid, things about the Wisconsin, really awesome. Working together in unison, very, very powerful combo. Uh, almost uh, OP broken, if you want to call it. If you had this combo, like literally had two Druids, two Wisconsin on a flank, man, this thing would be devastating. But anyways, I digress. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, let me know in the comments below. We're on our way to the next 4,000 subs and doing another premium giveaway. And just thank you guys all for the channel. And uh, as always, you guys stay safe. Make sure you say hi out there, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Cheers.